Students at an Oakland Hills school worry they will not be able to take AC Transit to campus next year. The school district says it just doesn't have the money. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward has more. These flyers are posted all over Montero Middle School. Students are fighting to continue using AC Transit buses to get to school. For my family, we have three kids at three different schools. It's going to be insane. And for most families, they can't. They don't even live close enough. So a lot of kids are going to end up not being able to, to attend the schools they want to and essentially be forced to go to the neighborhood schools that don't offer the academic rigor that they need. I hope that I can be a good spokesperson for all those people that live in the flatter areas of Oakland who really rely on the bus. Tonight, AC Transit is having a board meeting to discuss whether they'll keep providing services to kids who attend Montero Middle School, Skyline High School, and Community Day School. It's a bus about 1,600 out of 2,500 students take each day. In the lobby of the Montero Middle School, some parents have put out a letter to AC Transit and they're encouraging other people to sign it, explaining that their students already pay to use the bus. If this specific route goes away, there are other buses that stop near the schools, but not right in front of them. We are about the business of education. AC Transit is about the business of transportation. John Sasaki, spokesperson for the OUSD, says a few years ago the state changed how the district was funded, and this bus problem is a result of dollars being redistributed. So there really is no money now for uh, for this process to cover uh, AC Transit's help with our students. This is far from a done deal, and people from the OUSD, students, and the AC Transit Board will all be at tonight's regularly scheduled meeting. In Oakland, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Well, AC Transit says this is an issue of financial mismanagement within the school district. The agency issued a statement saying, in part, quote, it sees AC Transit as low-hanging fruit. They're trying to balance their books at our expense. The statement goes on to say AC Transit has been more committed to getting kids to school than the school district that is paid to ensure kids get to school. Despite weeks of negotiation sessions, OUSD has offered no solutions that benefit their kids, end quote. AC Transit is encouraging parents to call the school district to help come up with a solution.